welcome to another story time brought to you by ABC Read and ABC Learn in which we are here to help develop and nurture that love of reading in every child as well as every adult. How are you all doing out there today, evening, whatever time of day it is, wherever you are around the globe? I hope that you all are doing thunderful. See, told y'all. When you have that language intact, you can make up words. That's right. Putting letters, excuse me, putting words together. All right. <laughs> That's what's up. And I hope that you all have read or you are planning to read for at least 30 minutes, y'all. All right. All right. And before we get started with our story, I wanted to share with you all again another reading aloud tip, which is before you start that read aloud, you can look at the cover with the kids that you're reading to and you can ask them to activate their prior knowledge all right what does that mean you can look at the cover and say hey what are some things that you could think about when you look at that cover that you already know some information that you already are aware of all right so that's activating that prior knowledge all right because you want them to come to the story with already having some type of you know some type of way they can relate to the book all right and that'll keep them engaged in the story, all right? And get their minds to open, all right? Get that comprehension going, all right? That understanding of the story, all right? So there it is, y'all. So let's activate that prior knowledge, y'all. Bam, here we go, here we go. You guys see the cover of this awesome, awesome book. I wanted to read this book. Actually, again, I actually read it on one of my other uh, videos, which you guys need to check out. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share bam all right and you guys see the cover right well well let's read the title together breaking the sickle a snippet of the life of dr yvette faye francis mick barnett the author his name is louis t mclean the second the editor francis w minican jr and the illustrator m rito mentari all right cool you guys see that that looks like a circle right Wow, you see a bed and you see her? She has on, it looks like what? A doctor's coat, right? And she has around her, you guys know what those are, right? That stethoscope, right? You guys have seen those at the doctor's office, right? So when you look at that, you're activating your prior knowledge, right? You're thinking about, hmm, I've seen that somewhere before. Oh yeah, that's right. When I had to go to the doctor and get a checkup, right? Before school got started, right? Yes, that's what's up, all right? And again, this is from that uh, publishing company, which is awesome, by the way, Melanin Origins, all right? And it says Sickle Cell Disease Association of North Texas, all right? Wow, so let's find out what this story, Breaking the Sickle, is all about. This bond that we have can never be broken. I learned at a very young age that love and friendship is shown by helping the ones that you care about the most. But still being a true blessing to all involves helping absolute strangers too. Hello, my name is Yvette Faye. I hail from Kingston, Jamaica. And I want to tell you about how I used my natural born talents to break the cycle of sickle cell disease. Imagine the word cycle as the shape of a circle. On this circle, good and bad things keep happening over and over again. This is how it is with sickle cell. Many children are born with it every year, and most of them find it very hard to live a joyful life outside of a hospital bed. With sickle cell disease, normal red blood cells lose their original form and become shaped like a sickle. When this happens, cells eventually get stuck in small blood vessels. This slows down and can even block blood flow and oxygen to parts of the body and cause great pain. I 
I never knew of sickle cell until I did some work at the hospital in Chicago and I saw firsthand how it affected people's lives. How did I end up in Chicago, you ask? Well, my parents and I moved from Jamaica to Harlem, New York, when I was a baby girl. Every day I honored my mother and my father by reading books, doing my chores, and making good grades in school. I really believe that trying your best pays off because I was only 19 years old when I was started school at Yale University's School of Medicine. It was my study of medicine that led me to the great city of Chicago. And it was in Chicago that I made up my mind that I was going to do something to break the cycle. Sickle cell is a blood disorder that causes great pain in your body, shortness of breath, a low amount of energy, and over 200,000 people live with it throughout the whole wide world. As a doctor of medicine, I knew that I had to do something to ease the pain and help those who were suffering. So I moved back to New York City and decided to make a difference in people's lives. I learned people can feel better and have more energy if they took the right medicines each day. Also, when babies were born, I made sure their parents brought them to my office so I can make sure everything was all right. If a child was born with sickle cell, I made sure their parents had everything that they needed to take good care of their baby. The work that I did was able to touch so many lives that the President of the United States of America put me in charge of a team that would help every person with sickle cell in the entire country. Yes, indeed, my friend, listening to your parents, giving your best effort, and having a heart to help others in need brings about the best blessings in life. May this bond that you see here never be broken. For this is the bond of unity with the human race. Love your neighbor, obey your parents, and always give your best effort in all that you do. You just might be the next great person to make a huge difference in the world. The end. I hope you love that song. Speak against no. Ow. And this is the awesome back of the book right here. And again, I hope that you all enjoyed that story. And also, I wanted to ask you guys a couple of questions. And I wanted my kids to help me out with answering some of those questions because they were actually listening while they were enjoying their snack as well. So, first question is, do you all remember where Dr. Yvette Faye Francis McBarnett, where was she from? Do you all remember that? When she, at, when she talked about that in the beginning of the story? And I'll go back to the text. She said, my name is Yvette Faye. I hail from Kingston, Jamaica. All right? So right there, she was telling you that she was from Jamaica. All right? So that's the answer to the first question. The next one is, 
And this one is very, very important. Hey, I thought you were gonna ask me the question. Yeah, well, you were finished drinking, so you ready to answer this one? All right, so what was it that Dr. Frances McBarnett, what was she helping uh, to do? Can you sick with her? Okay, all right, I like that, that's great. You knew that she was dealing with the disease called sickle cell, right? So what she was doing was trying to what? She was trying to find a way to help people get better who had the disease called sickle cell, yeah. right? Yeah. What, is, like, what is sickle cell? Well, what is sickle cell? That's a great then question. How do you react? Let's go. We're going to go back to the text, right? Sal just asked, what is sickle cell? What is sickle cell disease? Well, sickle cell disease is this. With sickle cell disease, normal red blood cells lose their original form and become shaped like a sickle, just like you see here in the picture. Okay? So when this happens though, the cells eventually, they get stuck in small blood vessels. And this can slow down and can even block blood flow and oxygen to parts of the body. And then what happens, it causes great pain all right and so does some you like die yes that's a great question she asked is do some people die from the disease sickle cell and yes yes they can die from the disease yes yep so and also well and also that's another great question as well you're asking what are the symptoms what are the things that happens to a person who has sickle cell great we're going back to the text right here. Some of the symptoms are, it causes great pain in your body. You have what is called shortness of breath right here, which is showing in the picture. So like, for example, you know how like if you're running around playing and you like, <gasps> that's what happens. Also low amounts of energy. So that means you're always what? If you have low amount of energy, that means what? Can you help me out with that? Yeah, it means like you don't really like Anything. Speak up. Mm -hmm. It means you don't really like run around and play and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like just mm -hmm. don't do nothing. Exactly. Yep. So it's like you don't want to, like Salda said, you don't want to do anything because you feel tired all the time, right? You don't feel energized, right? All right. Excellent. Well, we're going to stop right here. And what I'm going to do is just remind you guys once again to like, subscribe, and share our stories. And I hope that you all enjoyed this story. And I hope that you all continue to keep reading like for at least 30 minutes a day, all right? Let's beat that summer slide together, y'all. We got this together, all right? That's what's up. That's my girl and that's my boy right there, all right? All right, y'all. And remember so to keep reading for at least 30 minutes a day. I'm done, you know how it is. Beat you ain't got nothing to say. Slide, all right. Bye. Yeah. Okay. All right. Th thank you. But you knocked down the camera. All right, y'all. Peace.